Cookie, Cookie! That's funny. Suppose he's moved out? Hey, fellas! Hi, you Cookie. Ah. Don't you take care of your blacksmithing anymore? Yeah, we brought you a bunch of horses that needs new shoes. You might as well take them home. I've closed the blacksmith shop. Look at this. Stock in the new silver mine. The old ghost town's gonna boom again. Ain't that pretty? Just look at it. I'm practically a millionaire. How do you know the mines are still good? Ah, uh, they petered out 50 years ago. Ah, uh, that's just what everybody else thought. Those old prospectors just used picks and shovels. You know those two new fellas that I fixed the stagecoach for? They're mining engineers. They're bringing in new equipment. Gonna dig deeper shafts. High-powered machinery. They're putting in their own smelter plant, even going to fix the road so we can bring automobiles in here. Now look, fellas, I went out and I begged and borrowed and stole every penny I could get a hold of, just so I could get in on it. Maybe you got something there. Yeah, there could be some silver still in the ground, I guess. Now look, fellas, if you got any money, get in on it now before it's all gone. You're not just buying stock, you're buying land, and it's good land, and you'll share in the profits of the silver mine, too. Well, Roy, sent us that check. That's where we're going now, to put the money in the bank. Yeah, we sold that big bunch of quarter horses. You boys own half the ranch, and Roy Rogers owns the other half. Now, there's one of him, and there's four of you. Why don't you put it up to a vote? I'll vote for Roy. I'm in favor of it. Me too. Me too. Me too. So, here's a check. Where do you send the money? Now, you're talking J. Malcolm Vanderpool. He's the biggest promoter in the country, and you'll never regret it till the day you die. Good morning, Miss Martin. What's the matter? Oh, Mr. Vanderpool, we're in trouble. Your office is full of private detectives and process service. The landlord came in and somebody's trying to take the furniture out. Here, you better read this. It's from your mining engineer out in Sintown, Regan. I... It, uh, it could... I never dreamed anything like this would happen. Please don't feel so bad, Mr. Vanderpool. You haven't even given Sintown a chance. They haven't been working out there long enough to really find out. Oh, it's no good trying to fool ourselves. I've known all along it wasn't any, just like all those mining deals. I would just hope to that was all. If it only lasted a little while longer so I could pay some of these bills. But, but what about that $20,000 that came in yesterday from those men out west? It's all gone back, Alamon. Oh, I don't care what you say. I still think there's silver in that mine. I was born out in that country. I ought to know. Carol, you're the best secretary I've ever had. But it's no good, dear. I know when I'm licked. Now, you go back to the office and close up. Tell them anything. Tell them I've, I've disappeared. Why can't you go out to Sintown yourself and find out? I wouldn't dare. They grabbed me the moment I got off the train. Then why can't I? Now, what good would you do? The secretary. Oh, well, they wouldn't even talk to you. Carol, you've been very, very kind to me. Almost like my own daughter. Well, who's that? Oh, that's one of those process servers. He was running a horse as I got in the cab. You better go. Carol, you know that two-month salary I owe you? Yes. Well, here it is, dear. You uh, wouldn't want to buy some Sintown mining stock, would you? No, thanks, lady. I didn't think so. Two months' salary. Poor Mr. Vanderpool. Me just like his own daughter. Daughter. Why couldn't I be?
nobody's home, Trigger. We better find out where this thing came from. Try to make a lot of silly excuses. Get down here and help me with these bags. I'm sorry, I'm a little new on the job. I'll give you a hand. You just better learn to meet these trains on time. I guess you don't know who I am. I'm Carol Vanderpool, daughter of J. Malcolm Vanderpool. Well, lucky you. Not the Wall Street Vanderpool. I thought you'd be surprised. Will you ride inside or out? Out. Your Highness. Oh, here we go. Subway, ma'am. These things always ride like this. Yeah. Hey, be careful. I get it, Albert. These roads haven't been fixed in 20 years. Rugged, huh? Yeah, it's rugged. I can stare this thing better with my eyes shut. You think it's that easy, huh? Well, sure. Those horses know where they're going. They're smarter than you are. Oh, that does it. Give me the steering wheel. Is that the way you want it? It sure is. Whoa, who? They're all yours. And I'll just take them. Go ahead. Oh, no, you don't, Mr. Wise Guy. You're fired. Well, you can't fire me. I'm I not... certainly can, too, fire you. My father owns this stage. Now, just get off and see how you like walking down that hot road. Okay. Come on, Trigger. What's the matter? Do you want to change your mind? Well, no, but if you're going back into town... I'm not. I'm going prospecting out in the hills. That's where you belong. I can handle these horses just as well as you can. Giddy out. come in by itself. That's what you think. Hey, boss, a dame. You amaze me. What a ride. No wonder this company's going broke. Here, let me help you. A little late for that, isn't it? Your stage driver left me stranded clear out in the middle of nowhere. I'd be there yet if I didn't know how to drive this outfit. Uh, what do you mean about the company going broke? How do you know? I'm J.M.'s daughter, Carol. This is no dame. Uh, Miss Vanderpool, uh, uh, I'm Bill Regan. Uh, why didn't you wire us you were coming? I didn't expect to find anybody here. There's no more money, you know. Why, um, I'm really very glad to see you. Uh, you don't think I'd run out on your father just because it didn't pan out, did you? Hey, Mike. Yeah, boss? Uh, get Miss Vanderpool's bag. Give him a hand, Mike. Hello. Hi. I want you to take Miss Vanderpool to the Hangman's Hotel. Boss, the, the, the hangman. That's what I said. Okay, boss. If you say so. 
My boys are very thorough, Miss Vanderpool. Is that it? Well, I'll admit it isn't first class now, but it used to be. Now, Mike will clean up a room for you. You run along with him. I'll see you later. Thanks. All right. Hey, boss. You're not going to let us stay in that hotel, are you? That's the idea. One night in that haunted joint with the coyotes howling and the shutters banging, she'll be glad to leave. We don't want her hanging around here. Yeah, but what about that remark she made about the stage driver? I know, I know. That's got me worried, too. I don't see how the driver could have been old Ed, though. Maybe we better make sure. Coach came back into town. Yeah, I know. The horses got away from us. But we got all Ed nice and safe. Why didn't you let me be a banker instead of a prospector? Children. You know why you're here, don't you, Ed? I said you know why you're here, don't you, Ed? Yeah, not because I was invited peaceably. They snatched me off the stage and then they let my horses run away. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is in your handwriting, Ed. Dear Mr. Vanderpool, have found a real silver vein on your land. Don't trust that sidewinder, Regan. Yeah. Get your hide down here as soon as you can. Signed, Edward Llewellyn Carruthers. Oh, P.S. Yes. Just ask for old Ed. I can't understand why you wanted to contact Vanderpool. Now, where is it? Do you, you want to know where the silver is, do you? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. It's buried under the ground. The same as I'd be the minute that I was fool enough to tell you where it's hid. Gary, take care of our guest. If there's anything he wants, give it to him. Oh. Hey, boy. Come here. You heard what he said, did you? Yeah. How about a little snort? I'll get you some food. Well, that'd be... Food. Food. Hey, 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 what's the idea? Uh, don't worry, I got ours in the oven. Yeah, I know, but who's gonna eat that? Well, the boys will be in for lunch, and you know the deal. The first one that complains has to take over my job here. Boy, I get so tired of this cooking, but I'm going to get rid of this job today. <laughs> you, you sure are. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Why don't somebody fix that thing? Here, here, we'll glue her down. A riding open cowboy named Colorado Joe decided he would hit the trail for sunny Mexico. And there he met a lady, a senorita fair. He couldn't speak her language, but he didn't seem to care. To care, to care, didn't seem to care. Cause he smiled and she smiled, and he winked and she winked. And he thought she was as pretty as could be. And he laughed, ho, ho, and she laughed. <laughs> and he thought, here is the only gal for me. Well, he asked her what her name was, she didn't understand. She started speaking Spanish when he took her by the hand. She said to ten cuidado, ahí de profeti. Mi viejo está parado, el cielo so cuidate. Se sonrió, ella no, vacilo, ella no. But the story ends unhappily, tis true, tis true, tis true. 
out. Cause the words that she spoke that he thought were a joke were beat it, kid. My husband's watching you. Hi, Roy. Hi, Cookie. Hi, Roy. Oh, I sure had us fooled. Where's the rest of the boys? Oh, they'll be here. It's almost lunchtime. Holy mackerel, it's one of them 12. Stand aside, boys. Here they come. Boy, am I hungry. Yeah, chow ready? And how? Roy, <laughs> glad you got back all right. Thanks. Gotta wash up. Hey, Roy, listen to this. Sintown Discovery Day, everybody welcome. Songs, music, barbecue. They're having a big celebration right on the spot where they're going to build the new smelter plant. Who is? The, the company that's going to make us all millionaires. They're opening up all the old silver mines. Yes, sir. Man, we're going to be on easy street. No more ranching for us. You're not including me in on this, are you? <laughs> we sure are. You know that check you sent the boys from the horses you sold? Well, now, wait a minute. You didn't use that money. Yes, we did. We wanted you to get in on the ground floor before the prices went up. Well, that's great. We're all in on the ground floor. Yeah, we thought you'd be surprised. Yeah. So will the bank. You know we already borrowed money on those horses. Oh, yeah, we figured that out. You see, the bank will get their money back out of the first dividend when the mine starts paying off. Oh... Oh, uh, well, what's the matter, Roy? Well, I hate to tell you this, but you can't sell horses you don't own. If that mining stock doesn't start paying off, we'll all end up in jail. Jail? Yeah. Yes, those rooms with little bars on the windows. No, oh, well, now, Roy, don't get mad at the boys. It's not their fault. I talked them into it, honey. Oh, we got to go get our money back. Yeah, we'll have to contact J. Malcolm Vanderpool back in New York. Vanderpool? Well, I happen to know that his daughter came in on the stage today. Maybe she can get it for us. Sure. Let's go and ask her. Now, hold on. Wait till we eat. I'm hungry. By all means. Ah! Do you suppose he's complaining about the food? Uh, he couldn't say. <laughs> How did it taste? <laughs> you can keep the job. <laughs> what delicious. <laughs> Where can we find Miss Vanderpool? She's right here, upstairs. You two better go in, Cookie. She'd never give me the money. When I left her, we weren't exactly on friendly terms. <laughs> All right, Roy. Good luck. <coughs> Miss, will you hold the door open for me? Sure. Hey, hey, hey! what's the idea? I didn't see you. <laughs> Which one of you is Miss Vanderpool? I... Put it oh, away. Oh, just a minute. Never mind, Mike. I am Miss Vanderpool, and just what can I do for you, my good man? Well, I'm Cookie Bullfinch, and I wanted to ask you something about that mining stock. Oh, just what did you want to know about the stock? Well, we bought $20,000 worth, and we got to have our money back. You see, we borrowed the money from the bank on some horses. Now we don't have the horses or the money. No, well, we're liable. I'll go to jail. Yeah, well, I'll go to jail. You mean you're going to go to jail? But as soon as Sintown gets going, that stock's going to be worth a lot of money. Well, that's good. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll let you have all of our stock just for what we paid for it. Oh. Well, that's very nice of you. <laughs> you. You could write us a check for it right now. Yes, I could write you a check, but it wouldn't be any... I didn't bring any with me. Well, I could get you some right down the street. Ladies I know. Chubbins, you heard what the lady said. Go on, get out. You heard what he said. Out you go. Oh no, he don't.
you troublemaker. You, he's always making trouble. He hit poor Mike when Mike was helping me clean up the room, and he's the one who was driving the stage, too. Oh, he was, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess this just about makes us even. Uh, let me talk to him, Miss Vanderpool. I'll get this straightened out. You go down and get Mike. This place is really a mess now. What's your name? Rogers. Why? All right, Rogers. What were you doing driving that stage? Well, I saw it running away, and I stopped it. And you didn't see what happened to the driver? No, I didn't. Why all the questions? I haven't seen you around before. Do you work in this part of the country? No, I just happened to be riding through town, and I heard the fight, and I tried to break it up. You sure did. Those two guys Shut came up. up. You couldn't be looking for a job, could you? I might be. We can always use another man, can't we, Dave? Listen, Regan, I... Take him up to the mine and tell Gary to put him on. Okay, come on. Look, I... Now, take it easy, Dave. I know what I'm doing. What do you need him for? He's our alibi. He was driving the stage, wasn't he? Yeah. Old Ed's gonna turn up missing, and Rogers is gonna have all the questions to answer. Uh, but old Ed, he... Tell Gary to give Rogers something to do that'll keep him away from that shack. Now, get going. Hey, Roy! Come on, get out of here. I'm working for Regan. You got a job? Don't let him see you talking to me. You're going to work from the inside, huh? That's what I've been trying to tell you. Now, please. Oh. The boss wants to keep Rogers around, but he don't want him to see this old coot. I guess it's all right to let those oversized jackrabbits in, isn't it, Trigger? <laughs> supposed to be on that side of the fence. That's obvious. But I was just... That is, I thought... Wait a minute. I'm Carol Vanderpool. I know that, but have you got an okay from Regan? Well, no, I didn't tell him I was... I don't need an okay from Regan. My father owns this mine, remember? But I might ask you what you're doing here. I work here. I'm being paid to keep people out. Well, that doesn't apply to me. Shaft, isn't it? I don't think you better go down there. You just go back and guard your gate. Ow! <laughs> See what I mean? Hey. I've never seen a gun like that before. Do you suppose one of those old prospectors lost it? Could be. It's old enough. Could I have it for a souvenir? I guess so, as long as it isn't loaded. You know, this gives me an idea. I think I'll take some of that R along. It's all yours. What's the matter, Genevieve? Did old Ed run off and leave you? Well, I wouldn't let you starve off, Fiji, old girl. Good evening, Mr. Bullfinger. Good evening, Mr. Regan. Hiya, fellas. I'm sorry about the mine not panning out. I suppose you still have that worthless stock. Well, we're getting some use out of it now. At least it keeps the wind from coming through those cracks. Well, mining is a gamble, Cookie, but uh, I hate to see anybody get hurt. I just might be able to make a deal with you. Huh? You mean you want to buy that old stock? Did you hear that, fellas? That's swell. <laughs> well, I might be able to give you a few cents on the dollar. I mean, just enough so that you don't lose out entirely. Say about $500, whatever you and your friends put into it. <coughs> $500? We paid over $20,000. Well, it's better than nothing. Why don't you ask your friends? But, but that ain't very much money. We... But we hadn't asked them. Oh, all right, but that still ain't very much money. Good evening, Miss Vanderpool. Hello. Mr. Bullfincher. Yes. Are you open for business? 
Sure, what can I do for you? Uh, do you think you could clean this up and put some bullets in it for me? I thought maybe I might need it. Oh, I guess you would living over there at that old hangman hotel. I wouldn't stay over there with the cannon. Now, let me... Hey, where'd you find this? I found it up at the mine. I thought maybe one of those old prospectors might have lost it. Well, it looks like a blown stole Ed. You know that fellow you hired to drive the stagecoach? Genevieve? How about it? <laughs> Just as I thought, it is old Ed's gun. It might not be the same gun. Yes, it is. Old Ed's in trouble. Caught in a cave-in or something. Saddle up, fellas. We're going to the mine. Sure There's no reason for him to get so excited. Old Ed's always wandering off somewhere. My men will find him. See if you can stop him. Huh? Here's your gun. It's all loaded. This band of fool, you might need it or something. What did you do with old Ed's gun? We took it from him and threw it away. That was a stupid thing to do. Now that dame's got it. Cook and his friends are on the way to the mine to look for old Ed. Get up there and bring him back before they find him. Sure, boy, oh, sure. on the way up here. Rogers, you stay here and stop. Get out of the way. Pull up, Cookie. This is the end of the line. What do you mean? Well, I can't let you in here. I'm working, remember? But Roy, old Ed's up here someplace. That was his gun the Vanderpool girl found. Ed's gun? Yeah. And that's why there wasn't anybody driving that stagecoach. Someone must have grabbed him. But why? Have you had a look around? No, they've kept me busy guarding this gate. Well, now's a good time. Oh, no, we won't. This won't hurt much. I told you to keep him out of here, Rogers. So get going. Stand aside. Oh! Well, we're looking for old Ed. I say there's nobody in there. Now, I'm warning you, this is a private property, and they're going to take you to jail for trespassing. Probably all going anyhow. Anybody got a match? Here. Hey, Roy. The familiar cookie? Yeah, it could be. Get him out of here. You take care of them all right? Sure. Hey, somebody's leaving. Hello. Taking you birds in for trespassing on private property. Move over to your horses. You, Rogers. Bring that horse over here.
my stomach. I, I think you're broken. Get the horses out of here. <laughs> oh, hey, Genevieve, Genevieve. Look what they're doing to your old partner. Don't let him Come go on. again. Be, listen, I'm going to have the hangman put his curse on you. That's what I'll do. Yeah, uh, listen, you don't want... Hey, Jeremy! Jeremy, come here, Jeremy! I guess I lost him, Cookie. What's Genevieve doing here? I don't know, but it must mean something. What you doing here, old girl? We'll have to find another way to get in. Uh, Roy, I better stay here and keep guard. You're coming with me. But I'm Roy, Roy. You, you, you know the legend about the, about that old hanging man that comes to life at midnight and. Haunts this place? You're not going to believe that stuff, are you? Well, I'm not going to, but I do, don't you? Oh. Okay, I'll give you a boost. No, 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 you go, I'll give you a boost.
Me. Can't you see that Miss Vanderpool's painted? I can't leave you. Stay here, both of you. I'll be right back. Get away from me now. Stay away from me, do you hear me? So you won't tell me where the mine is, huh? I'll find it myself, but I'll fix you so you won't tell anybody where it is. Now, wait, wait a minute now, please. Hey, Roy, Roy! Oh, it's upstairs, I found him. Miss Vanderpool. Oh, oh, yeah. Where is he? Are you sure he was here, Cookie? Oh, honest, he was here, Roy. We gotta find him. You go that way. Oh, no, you don't. Atta boy, Cookie. Did you look around down here? No. Not here. That old man can disappear quicker than anybody I ever seen. Well, at least we got one of them. Let's take him over to your blacksmith shop. I want to have a talk with you. What's the trouble, Rogers? Your friend here is going to explain what he's doing in the hotel. I'll explain that. I sent him to look for you. Hey, bud! Oh! Roy! Roy, you know why we couldn't find old lad? Look! Oh! He's dead. That makes it a murder charge, Rogers. Now, wait a minute. You're not accusing me, are you? Why not? The last time we saw Ed, he was driving the stage. Who was driving it when you arrived, Miss Vanderpool? He was. That don't prove a thing. He'd never kill him. You still got Ed's gun? Yes, it's upstairs. Good. I guess that's more damaging evidence against me. Yeah, that's right. You found it at the mine, didn't you? He found it. And he was in the hotel, too. That's all we need to know. Take him to the sheriff, boys. Well, I suppose halfway there, I get a bullet in my back. Not me. Trigger. Why didn't you stop him? Are you kidding? <laughs>
Come on, girl. If you're gonna keep your strength up, you've got to eat. Look how good it is. That's it. You've got to break down. Don't you worry at all. Sure would like to know who killed all that. Me too. Yeah, I'm... Oh, gee, I'm glad to see you, Roy. It's all right. I'm all alone. I sure wished old Ed had to finish what he started to tell me. Well, you didn't say anything about that before. What'd he say? Oh, it was all jumbled up about Genevieve and Silver. It didn't make much sense. Well, maybe you left a note or something. Nothing here. Shh. Shh. Hold the bell. Hey, Cookie. It's Regan and the gal. Look. That's Silver. Well, what do you know? This is the reason they killed the lead. Get, get, get. Uh, <clears throat> good morning, Mr. Regan, Miss Vanderpool. We'd like to ask a couple of questions about your friend Rogers. Uh, what about him? We want to know where he came from and what he's doing in this town. Well, your guess is as good as mine, huh? What are you hiding? Huh? Nothing, nothing. Well, well, well. Where'd you get this? Uh, oh, I found it in there. You found it right there? Yeah. Make a nice clapper, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is old Ed's mule, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, he must have hidden it there. Somebody found out about it, and that somebody was Rogers. And that explains the murder. It's silver, all right. But it's too bad a man had to die for a thing like this. It's worthless. Do you mind if I see it? It's nice and shiny to me. <laughs> I think I'll just keep this. There's a government assay office around here, isn't there? And you're right in the next town. <laughs> now look here, Miss Vanderpool. I'm an expert on silver ore, and I tell you that thing is valueless. I'd still like to find out. Yeah, yeah, me too. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, I'll send you over on the stage. Williams will drive you. I'll drive her. Oh, that'd be swell, Cookie. I'll see you in front of a hotel. I think you better leave, too, Mr. Regan. Okay, okay. Roy, did you hear that? That's why Regan wanted to buy our stock last night. He's a crook. You mean a murderer. And I don't think he would stop at another one. Well, I gotta go get the stage from Miss Vanderpool. I'll be seeing you. Yeah, don't worry. You'll see me. Here now, they're looking for that ore you got in your purse. Give it to them. That's it. Get her inside, Cookie, and turn your team around. I'm going to get this silver into town if it's the last thing I do, and you or nobody else is going to stop me. You hear what he said? Now get inside. If you're afraid to drive these horses, move over and let oh, me God, drive them. You... Put me down. Help! Put me down! Oh, my hair! I 
get all wet. I'll get a fire started. You're soaked to the skin. It's a cozy little place for a murder. Murder. If you're thinking of going any place, those trails get pretty slippery. So what? Well, don't blame me if you end up with a broken leg at the bottom of some canyon. you still insist those men were going to try to stop me. Listen, I'm just as interested in finding out if there's any silver in Sin Town as you are. Just as soon as those guys course, I'll see that you get to the assay office. I'll go see if I can find you some dry clothes. These may be a little big for you, but while I'm taking care of Trigger, you can try them on. those dirty things on, I should say not. They're clean. Besides, I'm only trying to help you. That's the trouble with all you society girls. You need a good spanking. You wouldn't dare. You didn't. Now get into these clothes. Yes, sir. had my way, how I'd like to sort of stray to a land enchanted as a fairy tale. Every night my dreams go riding down the Grand Canyon Trail. The moon is there on high, sitting pretty in the sky. And a man can gather stardust by the pale Every night when dreams go riding Down the Grand Canyon Trail The river's a ribbon of silver And the fireflies are playing peek a -boo. And may I kind of casually mention There's many a perfect rendezvous for two And if I bide my time There's a chance in time that I'm gonna meet someone Who'll listen to my tale And will share the dream that's riding down the Grand Canyon Trail. Any luck? No. How are we going to find her in all this rain? What are we going to tell Regan if we don't? Yeah. Guess we better keep on looking. You take that far ridge. Okay.
What do you think you're doing? Oh, but gee, it's cold. I thought I'd get some more wood and put it on the fire. I'll get some out of the closet. Okay. Mike, glad to see you. You put your gun away. He's in the closet. Wait a minute, I'll get my things. Where's the silver? It's in here. He didn't get it. Let me help you. Okay. Mike. Thanks. Do you think I killed him? No, he ought to be used to it. You gave it to him. I couldn't find him out there anyway. Take it, Miss Martin. Sit down. I think we better find out just who you're working for. It's true, right? I'm not Carol Vanderpool. I just said that I was so, so I could come out here and find out why Regan put out that false rumor about there being no silver in the mine. What difference did that make to you? I was Mr. Vanderpool's secretary, and he was always very nice to me, and I liked him, and that rumor, it just ruined him. I guess I just messed up that piece of oh. Wait a minute, Carol. You're not going to give up now and let Regan take everything. Not if anybody's got any ideas, I'm not. And you said false rumor a minute ago. You gave me an idea. What? If you want to stay Miss Vanderpool a while longer, we'll start her own rumor. And say that we discovered a silver mine. But what if we don't find any silver mine? Well, the sheriff's already after me, so one more charge wouldn't make any difference. Good morning, Miss Vanderpool. Good morning, Mr. Regan. Did you want to see me? Yes. Did you know your father was on his way out? He is. Arriving on the 1040. Uh, well, isn't that nice? It's a nice surprise, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, I guess I better get back and meet him. Those friends of Rogers have gone over to pick him up. Oh, well, thanks very much, Mr. Regan. Goodbye. Looks bad, don't it? What do you mean, bad? Looks good. Those fellows are picking up a passenger they don't know about. A sheriff with a pocket full of warrants. Sheriff? Hey, Regan! Just a jogging along, singing a song, not a worry or a care. Easy to please, free as the breeze, I'm gonna be a millionaire. Not a thing on my mind, troubles behind, oh, what a wonderful day. Standing on the outside, looking on the inside, everything's going my way. Yippee-yay! Rich or poor, life can be sunny, but just to be sure, have plenty of money. So I'll say you do to all of my blues, no more skies of gray. Gonna take it easy, out where it's breezy, everything's going my way. Yippee-yay! 
Gonna live like a king, won't settle for less. I'll have cattle in the bank and money out west. So I'll thank you do to all of my blues. No more skies of gray. Gonna take it easy, I'm very crazy. Everything's going my way. Everything's going my way. Well, Regan, dear old fellow, dear old boy, so we've struck it at last, eh? Well, I need the dough, I need a lot of it. I've a lot of bills to pay. I'm very sorry, Mr. Vanderpool, that was just a false rumor. You the sheriff I sent for? Yep. Well, arrest these men, there's no such mind. But, but uh, honestly, I, I didn't start any rumor. But your daughter did, that makes you responsible. My daughter? I never had a daughter in my life. Well, there's a girl in the hotel that... If that's not your daughter, who is it? Halt in the name of the law. Just a minute, young lady. Why, Carol Martin, what does this mean? I'm sorry, J.M., honest I am. I was only trying to help you and I... Ah, another charge against you. Impersonating somebody who ain't. But there is silver here. Honest there is, Sheriff. I've got two good friends, Roy Rogers and Cookie Bullfincher, and they're both up there now looking for it. They're following old Ed Mueller. She's bound to know where it is. Why don't you go up in the north section and talk to them? Rogers is wanted on a murder charge. Take these people to jail. I'll bring Rogers in, dead or alive. Don't you believe him, Sheriff. They'll murder Roy. What difference does it make? We're going to hang him anyway. And another thing, I came well prepared. I couldn't find anything that even looked like silver. Well, it's got to be around here someplace. This is the second time she's come right to this spot. You can tell she's at home here. Look how she picked her way through them rocks coming up. She's been here with Ed, all right. We'll just have to keep on looking. Well, it ain't quite the point, but give me a clue, will you? Must be Regan. I'll try to hold him off. You keep on looking. We've got to find that mine. Don't come any closer, Regan. You better give up, Rogers. It'll go easier with you. Hey, Carol. Hear that? Yeah. You see, Sheriff, I was telling you the truth. We got to get over there. Just some hunters, that's all. Hunters. Oh, help me, isn't it? Excuse me. You better keep me careful, young lady. Yeah. Have you found anything yet? Not a thing, Roy. I guess we're on the wrong track. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to hold them off. Let's get out of here. on you? That's not what they're figuring on. Well, we can't stay here. You see what I mean? A fella could get hurt around here. Okay, Cookie, if that's the way you feel about it. That's the way I feel. Oh. All right, 
right, Regan. Call up your men. Okay, Rogers, but come on with your hands up. Hold your fire, boys. When they get down by the pool, let them have it. Regan, you better hold it. Here comes the stagecoach with the law. Oh! Hey, Roy! The sheriff's got us under arrest. Tell him you found the mine, so he'll let us all go. I wish I could, Carol. We know it's around here someplace. We've looked everywhere. We can't find it. A likely story. Uh, well, uh, you pardon me, won't you? Okay. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. I guess I better unlock those. Mm, just one more charge against you. You don't look very friendly. I'm going to look some more. Oh, excuse me. This is the man you want to hold for murder, Sheriff. Oh, he is. Hand over those guns, young fella, and come along peacefully. Now hold up your hands. Hey, you! <laughs> This is the mine. We were standing right next to it. <laughs> That's what Genevieve was trying to tell us. Old Ed put a piece of canvas over it, then covered it up with dirt so nobody would find it. And then the rains came along and made a puddle out of it. Unfortunately, young lady, you're right. But there's still a murder charge against that man. Well, I'm not the man you want, Sheriff. It's Regan. If you'll check into it, you'll find that it wasn't a bullet that killed old Ed. Well, murder or no murder, I'm preparing charges. Well, it's not going to be me. Me too. 